Hi everyone, it's Shredage again, and today we're going to be doing a fun video. You may have come across this image in one of, uh, in an email or post. So basically what it has is, it's taking some text, which is this message serves to prove, etc, etc, and they're converting specific letters into numbers. So it's now made it out of letters and numbers but our human brain can still read it as normal words so i came across this and i was really interesting about uh in this uh in how they did this and i wanted to create a computer program that takes normal uh, text and converts it into this kind of text message language so today we're going to be creating that program and I'm going to use a new type of uh, a new thing in uh, the Scala IDE, which is a Scala worksheet. So I'm going to create a new Scala worksheet. And the name is going to be Message. So basically what a Scala worksheet is, is it's a normal Scala file, but... It takes every single line in your object and uh, interprets it and puts what, what it would print in the Scala interpreter on the side. So for example, if we did print LN, welcome to the Scala worksheet, in the interpreter, it would print welcome to the Scala worksheet. So just to test things out, I can put an exclamation. And whenever you save, then it'll, cha it'll interpret every line. So now we can see the exclamation point uh, popped up. So basically, first let me delete all of this. So I'm going to go delete this. So to start, we need uh, we need to create a map of all of the letters to what numbers they'll get mapped to. So basically, let's go here. So T becomes seven. So I'm gonna start by creating a map. So val, and this is gonna be for lowercase letters. So we're gonna call this lower map. And this is gonna be a map of. And now in this map, we're gonna put the values. Okay, so if we save right now, we see that it's a lower map of nothing, nothing because we haven't given it any values. So now let's start giving it a few values. So t becomes seven. So t becomes seven. Okay. So now if we save, it's a char char. So now it's figured out the type and now we can start adding more maps. So T uh, becomes seven, uh, I becomes one, comes one, and S becomes five, and E becomes three. And let's see, A becomes four. And let's see, We've seen these, seen these, seen this. Oh, so O beco uh, uh, O becomes zero. Okay, so that's our map. And now what we need to do is we want to use the same techniques to map letters that are uppercase to a, a corresponding number. So we want the corresponding number to be the same, but the key should be uppercase. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do val upper map, and we're gonna use the map method. So 
so we're gonna do lower map dot map so we know that map always takes a function and what you return uh, that function returns is what's going to be the new value for each of the values you're iterating over so we're gonna uh, the uh, so we're gonna have a tuple which is going to be the key and value we can actually uh, use case here so I'm gonna put curly braces you need to put curly braces for cases and I'm gonna do case key a k comma v so this is going to extract the key and the value and then what we want to return is we want to return uh, the k, k dot to upper so this is going to be the upper case of our key but our we want our value to be the same so uh, to v so now this is our map. So we can see right here, now we have all the upper cases of all of the numbers. So we have E, T, A. So we have it get working. So now what we're going to do is we want to put these two maps together so that we can just have one map to use when we're converting all the letters in our original text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do val all map so this is going to be the map of all the values and to put two maps together you can use a, a plus plus so I'm going to do in parentheses lower map plus plus upper map so now if I, if I save we can see all of the values together so all uppercase and all lowercase so we can see e e s and all of the other values. So we have uh, uppercase and lowercase for each character. And why we're creating maps is when we're going to convert each letter, we can just use a map to get the value for that key. But a problem is what happens if we're taking, we're checking a key and that key isn't in the map. So for example, B isn't in the map. Uh, what we want to do is, if we can't find a key in the map, we just want to return the key we gave it. So to do that, we're going to use dot with default. And basically what with default takes is, it takes a function. And the first, uh, uh, what so you take a key and return what you want the value to be for that key. And in our case, we just want the value to be the key. So k to k. And now what we're going to do is, so we've created our all map. And f finally, the last thing we want to do is take some text. So I'm going to be a little bit fun. So I'm going to do println. And we want to do welcome to the skull. So let me bump this up since this is so right now if we did this it'll just be welcome to the Scala worksheet. We want the uh, the special language version uh, the special version of this text using our all map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take take each character and map it based on our all map. So I'm gonna do dot map and all I have to do is pass all map. So it works, welcome to the Scala worksheet. So we did that, but you might notice that all map is a map. We know that scala.collection.immutable.map. And we know that map, the method map, takes a function, but we're just passing the map. So the reason why we're being able to do that is a map implements function. So when we're passing all map, we're passing the function version of all map. So this is going to be our program. So it is really fun to make. And I'll see you in my next video. Who knows what it will be, but I'll see you there.